All right. Good pick. Welcome back to another episode of the Perfect Ten Podcast. I am one half your host, Jacob Erty, alongside me to the uh, port side, at, per use, uh, Daniel Dees. That's me. That's me. Yeah, that's that song just came to me, dude. It's a classic. That's a good one. Um. So, yes, this episode, as always, brought to you by Boot Crew Media. Um, wait, where is it? Um, and, yeah, if you read the title, I feel like I'm forgetting something. But, no, if, if, if you read the title, you know we're doing – now, it's going to be titled Top top 10 Menu Items. But what we mean is create 10 items that an absolute perfect menu has to have. Right. If it's like you go to heaven, God hands you a menu. You get to put 10 things on you there. You get to put 10 things on there. Apps, dessert. It could be all dessert if you want it to if you're a maniac. Right. I think I actually have two or three apps, two or three sides, and the rest entrees. I don't have any desserts because... I got- I try to stay away from them. One app that could be two apps that could be a meal, one dessert. Okay. Yeah. I'll, well, three technical apps. Depends on how you look at it. Um, let's see. Like I asked a lot of people about this one. Like, give me some input. People I went, suck at making menus. I went straight off the dome, dude. Um, no kidding. Five. Five people said rice and gravy. Oh. That's boring. That's the, you're making the perfect menu, and you're putting rice and gravy on it. Five people. Um, it must be a teacher thing. So I'll I'll be honest with you. My list gets quite elementary toward the top. <laughs> oh, mine's mine's just banger after banger after but banger. If we're throwing health out the window and going straight for deliciousness, mm-hmm. then I'm going for it. I also learned if I learned anything from making this list, it's basically that. Pretty much the bowling alley has there almost everything I need. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, so do you have any uh, honorables or I got honorables? And I, when I made when I first started making this list over the weekend, I was kind of under the influence of alcohol. And in my dishonorable, I just put Jake better not put bread and butter. Okay. Super mention bread. You fuck. All right. I uh, didn't put it on the list, though, just because. That's like putting a side salad on it. I mean, I love side salads. I love bread and S- butter. Side salad is in my honorable mention. Oh. All right. My uh, honorable mention, I got corned beef Reuben. I got a pastrami Reuben. I got chicken parm, egg rolls, pork chops, a barbecue brisket, uh, pork belly as an appetizer, queso and guac, and bread pudding for dessert. Okay. Yeah. Um. I was going to put chicken palm in my honorable, but I didn't slip it in there. I got roast beef po' boy, uh, loaded fries, nachos, spaghetti, char-grilled oysters. Pulled pork nachos, honorable mention. That's all my honorables. Oh, Dude, pull, who, whatever fella put pulled pork on nachos, just visionary. You know what? My mistake. That's an innovator right there. I messed up. I didn't put pulled pork anywhere, and I love pulled pork. I love pulled pork. I just love pork. Okay. Well, no, I'm matter how, that, no matter how you prepare it, I like pork. I'm gonna throw pulled pork in any in any form in my super mention as well, because I my list is what it, my list already is what it is. Yeah. Um. Oh, trivia question. Let's you're, hear it. You're gonna hate this because it's one of those typical ones that I come up with. Okay. How many pizzas are sold in the U.S. Oh, come annually? The fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hint. I love. First off, there's no way they – this is from the Washington Post. It says we eat 100 acres of pizza every day. That's a lot of fucking pizza. So – Is it in the millions? Higher. Billions? Yeah. Holy shit. That's a lot of za. A lot of za. Um, they say it's 23 pounds or 46 slices of pizza per person per year. Okay, that actually, okay, I can see that. Um, I'm going to say 2.8 billion. Okay, 3 billion. I was close. 3 billion pizzas in the U.S. annually. Damn. We look, I feel like pizza should be the America's food. So you got to figure that's uh, roughly a slice per week. So you're eating, you're eating pizza every two weeks. You know, two, three slices every two, three weeks. Yeah, yeah. I probably eat pizza every two weeks. I probably eat it. Yeah, probably once every two weeks. So yeah. that's, that's safe. Yeah. Maybe once every week and a half. 
I'll go once every right. 10 so we're, we're we're covering a little more. We're we're keeping the average up. Yeah, I agree. Um, so I guess dive in there, dog. All right, coming in at number ten. Starting off with dessert. My only dessert in the top ten. I got creme brulee. I I <clears throat> love fucking creme brulee. Okay. Like when I when if I feel like I can handle a dessert and I grab that dessert menu and I see creme brulee, I'm getting that nine out of ten times. The other one is bread pudding with rum sauce on it. Yeah. Love bread pudding rum sauce, but man, creme brulee with some like fresh blackberries on Ooh, it. Yeah. Cannot yep, be yep, beat. Yep, yep. I don't get it often enough. And like I say, I avoided desserts in my list just because I just try to avoid them in general, even though they are unbelievable. Says Mr. Cookie Man over here. Ain't been eating cookies, dog. Mm. I had to cut them out. Fun fact. Uh, my daughter doesn't know what kind of birthday cake she wants. I'm trying to like cookie wink. cake. I'm trying to get her get a cookie cake. What is frozen cookie cake a thing? I know uh, Bluebell had a cookie cake ice cream. It was pretty damn good. Why am I thinking a frozen cookie cake is it? Oh, no, it just ice cream um, cake is a thing. Yes. Those are banging. You know it's good? Warm up that cookie cake a little bit and put a dollop of vanilla ice cream on top of okay. it. Okay. Yeah. I'm here it, for it's it. It's great, and you're going to be feeling it, yeah. but it's delicious. I think my sinuses are starting to act up, dude. My eyes. Oh, man. Like my yesterday. Eyes feel a little out of whack. I had to take off work yesterday because my sinuses were just kicking my ass. Yeah. All right, coming in at number nine. I got French onion soup. Of course you do, dude. Dude, I, I love soup. I love French onion soup. How many soups are in your list, bro? Just one. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's not even my number one soup, but, uh, I, but it's just like the safest soup option. I mean... <sighs> but as an appetizer, not as like a meal, but you could make it a meal. There's but, so many better just general menu items than soup. Disagree. Okay disagree I like soup's just great i'm not gonna agree with you there but that's fine you okay. know agree to disagree all right number eight i got crab cakes oh dude you know what i'm gonna go <laughs> retroactively throw in my honorable mention is shrimp and grits we'll get back there okay um crab cakes yes those are oh no i took it out of my top 10 shit I did take uh shrimp and grits out so yeah okay. honorable mention shrimp and grits dude i love shrimp and grits um but Oh, uh, like crab cakes. Yeah. Now the did only you have the uh, shrimp and grits from son of a biscuit. I have, I haven't had, I have not eaten at son of a biscuit yet. You're missing out. That's probably the best place. In Every the time place. I go by there, it's a big, huge line for good reason. Right. You know, their shrimp and grits are probably the best in the area. Okay. And then Topol after that. Um, but yeah, crab cakes. I just feel like they're not consistent enough. That's why it, I, when they're I'm good, they're you, great. Oh yeah. When they're good, they're number one. Yeah. But, there we go. Yeah. Honorable mention beer, but we're, we said we said no had, drinks, no drinks, but beer. Uh, we, we, I guess we could do the perfect drink menu as well, but it's kind of limited. I don't know. There's tons of drinks. Yeah. Like drink specials. Yeah. Brady's Long Island, top shelf Long Island. Yeah. On yeah, a yeah. Friday on night. A, specifically on a Friday night at 1230. Specifically from Brandon Regia. Yeah. You gotta say, Reg, Reg, Reg. Snap your fingers at him. He loves that. Uh, so yeah, crab cakes, man. When they when they're pop, when they like when they hit, it's a grain slam. Yeah, but, I have. But sometimes, man, restaurants just phone it in. Right, like some little pre made out the freezer. Yeah. Um. Yeah, my list, dude. The order of these was very difficult to nail just right. Like I said, when we first before we came on, like I was pissing myself off making this look because right now I'm, I'm on like a low carb diet and. I'm just sitting here listening. I was like, man, I can't eat any of this shit. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sucks, dude. Remember we talked about this. Your, yeah. your stomach is going to start making you make bad decisions. Yeah, because I'm hangry. Uh, all right, so that was your 10, 9, 8? Yes, 10, 9, 8. All right, so my number 10. If I were younger, this would never, this would even be a thought, but like the older I get, I pretty much all, it's a side. I pretty much always get it if I'm at a Brussels sprouts. No, but I mean, so got to have at least one healthy option. I went steamed veggies. Steamed like veggies steam. in the like 10 spot. Steam. I like them grilled. Well, whatever the veggie side is, you know, mixed, ve mixed vegetables. Um, right. Like when they come out with like a side of grilled vegetables on the side. If it has broccoli in it, I'm not touching it. Yeah, see, dude, broccoli like, is, is good. I don't like it, though. Cauliflower is good. I like cauliflower. Carrots, I like carrots. I like great. carrots. 
like caramelized recently, onions. Go recently, I'd, I'd get some like baby carrots, put some like hot honey glaze on it, put that bitches in the air fryer. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. But anyway, so I had to have a healthy option on there, and I didn't want to go side salad, so I went. I went vet, the, whatever the veggie side is. Usually steamed veggies, but I don't like steam. Uh, my number nine. This is like when they're good, they're they could be in the one spot, but it's like. <laughs> I, don't know, I just feel like any menu's got to have it. It's one of the best bar snacks. We've been over it a hundred times. I got cheese sticks. Cheese sticks. I know you're gonna have it. Gotta have them I'll, in there, dude. I had every intention on calling you. I was like, I, I was gonna say, I know you have cheese sticks on this, but I forgot. Especially if they're from the Crescent. <laughs> uh, Those Crescent. I still have not. Sonic. Had Sonic always usually has banging cheese sticks. Oh yeah. For some reason, hey, usually menus like fast food establishments, when something gets popular, they kind of shrink it down. Yeah. Sonic's cheese sticks. I, I feel like they've gotten bigger. Um, Kate Street Seafood, great cheese sticks. They also have pepper jack, like frozen, frozen pepper jack. Dude, yes. I it's mean, like it tastes like the uh, Lacaretta. It tastes like the Lacaretta queso. Yeah, a little and bit. A cheese stick just pops in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Dude, so, that, so good. That's my nine. My number eight spot. This one is just because I feel like every menu on Earth has it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like to have a perfect menu. Like, I'm not talking about just for me. I'm talking about, like, an, you got to have chicken tenders on, on your menu. I got something similar. Okay. Because, I mean, chicken tenders. I just thought of something, like, a healthy option. Well, healthy, quote, unquote. Mm -hmm. I got a chef salad in my honorable. Okay. I love a good chef I salad. side salad in there, you know. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, chicken tenders, like, if you're if you're creating a, a restaurant, right, you got to have something for the kids. Chicken you tenders. Know? Or I mean, I'll eat chicken tenders. Same bar food. It's a good little protein snack. If you didn't eat quite enough, if you ate too early, and you, you got to have something in your stomach. Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. It, and it's always the quickest thing out the kitchen. Yep. Always. Just get some chicken tenders and barbecue sauce. Knock it down. Square you right. They're back already off. frozen. They just pop them bitches in the deep fryer, and they're done. Or done. whatever that auto fry machine is. It's like an air fryer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the one at the Crescent. I think that thing. You're is, giving them a lot of free publicity. Well, dude, the, the, the chicken tenders and the cheese sticks are A1. <laughs> Maybe this should hook you up for free. Uh, but, um, but yeah, chicken tenders, to, to, to round off any complete menu, got to have chicken tendies on there. Don't have them. So that's your 1098? Yes. So number seven, I got a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Grilled or fried? or Fried. fried. I, don't, I, don't like a, I don't like a grilled chicken sandwich because usually restaurants just, they try to get the, grilled chicken out there early and it's dry as hell right or right, otherwise right. it's been sitting under a heat and lamp dries out yeah okay i agree so i got a chicken sandwich like just give me your basic run of the mill chicken breast fried chicken filet whatever you want to call it put it on there some mayo some pickle give it to me like that chick-fil-a style okay i or, see or a popeye's chicken sandwich style because that's the better chicken gotcha sandwich. okay i see i see where you're going with it yeah so yeah chicken sandwich at my number seven number six one of my personal favorites. If this is what I usually get at most restaurants, but that's because most restaurants don't have my five, four, three, two, one. Well, they definitely have my two. But anyways, I got fish and chips. But preface, you gotta have tartar sauce with it, and you gotta have the malt vinegar on the side as well. Okay, I don't know that I've ever ordered fish and chips. I don't, how does that even come? Like it's a beer prepared. batter fish. It's a beer batter fish. Okay, and like kettle chips. Uh no, like it's it's a British food, so they call French fries chips. So it's French fries, beer batter fish, and what you do, you get some fish on that fork, dip in the tartar sauce, and dip that into like the malt vinegar. So fucking good. Okay, that don't sound like it's for me. Okay, right. it's not for everybody, but it is definitely for me. Because me and my wife, we went to the, uh that new place in Covington, the Greyhound. They had fish and chips, one of the best things I've ever eaten. The Greyhound, where's that at? Uh, downtown Covington. Okay. Uh, uh, those drink specials are insane. Like, I had the best white Russian of my life there, too. Okay. Well, there, I'm avoiding that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about Dude, you. Regio was trying to... He, <laughs> Sunday, we were Sunday fun day, and after we had already been, you know, all, you know, around BR all day Saturday, he was like, he was like, yeah, dude, so what we're going to do, we're going to get vodkas right and we're just gonna put a little bit of uh what what's the mix used uh cool. he's like yeah we're just gonna pour a little bit of that and i was like no dude we're not getting white russians 
My <laughs> Russians are great. He tried to frame it like eight different ways. I was like, nah, dude. It, 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 it's, Man, it's, it's, I feel like that's. It immediately brings back sketchy memories, you know? White Russians is probably the only cocktail I would just drink if somebody just handed it to me. Like, I love Red Bull and vodka. That's my, that's my go-to cocktail. But every now and then, I'm like, nah, I can't do that. Man. I do kettle soda any, all day, any day. I haven't really had a kettle soda. But White Russian, I'll drink those no matter what the occasion. You say so, They're bro. just nice. Just don't drink 12 of them. I can tell you that. I'll drink 13. No. <laughs> um, that was your seven. You ever had the uh, White Russians that come in a can? I feel like I've tried that. It's from Cutwater. Okay, I think what? I have tried that. Those are good. Those are dangerous as hell, too. If you say so. I'll take your word for it. I'm going to get you a 12 pack. Okay. And see how fast you can drink. Let it live in there. (laughs) Um, That was your seven, six? Uh, Yeah. All right. So my seven spot. Now, when this is done correctly, it could be my number one. But that's how I feel about crab cakes. I feel like they get the sauce. When they go overboard with the sauce, it kind of ruins it for me. Eggs Benedict. No, I got buffalo chicken wrap. Ooh. Buffalo chicken wrap, dude. Like, uh, especially that, from Buffalo Wild Wings back in the day, um, um, buffalo chicken wrap, mild sauce. Buffalo. They was always perfect. Now they don't put enough chicken in it. Um, so I mean, I haven't had it in a Man, long that's time. The biggest restaurant fall from grace of all times, Buffalo. Wild it used Wings. to be so good. That used to be the one place I wanted to go to. Now they skim you on everything. Oh yeah, and like if you get boneless wings, it's like it's just like a hard crust. Yeah, and like their traditional wings are just slimy. Um, but the Buffalo chicken wrap, like the one from, uh, walk-ons is really good, but they just bathe that thing in sauce. Too much sauce. I do like their Buffalo chicken wrap. It's real sloppy and it just a little, just a little too, I mean, I don't want to drink the sauce. You know what I'm saying? I love sauce on, when it comes to my wings, but slather them up. I mean, it's, I, I mean, it's legit like drinking about eight ounces of Buffalo sauce. I mean, I'm already in it's it. It's too much. And for a penny and for a pound. Uh, but the Buffalo chicken wrap there, like I say, when it's done right, it is so good. Yeah. Uh, so that's my seventh spot. My number six spot. Now this one, I even wasn't expecting this one to make the list, but I I just thought back to recently, I've been eating this a lot and it's like, it's pretty solid. Even if they mess it up because it's kind of hard, even if you way overcook it and you can't, I mean, you can barely, you can undercook it, but you really got to be trying. I got, I got fried shrimp. Love fried shrimp. Fried shrimp is so good on it. It could be a fried shrimp po' boy. It could be fried shrimp just all by itself. It could be a fried shrimp wrap. It could be, I mean. What's your favorite form of fried shrimp? Well, if it's like jumbo shrimp, just by itself. All right. Get like Other than meat. that. Get, get like that big. Fried shrimp po' boy. There, there you go. Yeah. But if it's like you said, jumbo, God, it could go by itself. Is ha- uh, yeah. More often than not, I want the, that bitch on a po' boy. Yeah, on that good flaky like French bread po' boy oh. bread. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so my sixth spot, I got fried shrimp just because, I mean, it's just a good middle of them. It's right down the middle. You're not going to get it. I mean, you may get it every time. I'm so fucking wrong. You're not going to really treat yourself with fried shrimp, but you can. You you really can. can. (laughs) Uh, so that is my sixth spot. All right. My number five spot. Another one of those meals. If prepared correctly, could easily be a number one. I got veal chops. What? Veal chops. Oh, veal. Okay. Yeah. Dude, it is so... Uh, Chena downstairs. Dude, that's some of the... What do you mean downstairs, dude? I mean, downstairs a few miles Somewhere away. Somewhere down the road. Uh, Somewhere down the road a few miles back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when Chena did their veal chops, my wife got it one time. That it, it, it's like one of the few dishes I constantly think about. It was so I don't big. think I've ever had it. Uh, it was a special, so okay. I, it's, not, it's not like a permanent menu. I'll think. throw a dishonorable mention out there because I don't think you're going to have it in your list. I got duck. I like duck just fine. Mm. Like a roast duck? Don't fry duck. It, it comes out rubber. Well, I'm... You roast a duck, it, it tastes I'm, like a cross between chicken and pork chop, and it's I, so good. I'm burned on it because the last place I was, that the two people at the table with me, they got it. I've never smelled anything more gamey in my life, dude. Like, I could barely eat sitting next to them. Now, mm. don't, now maybe it was just the duck they had. Maybe it was old. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Every duck I've had is good. Like it was, I mean, unbe- so ever like since even then, when I ain't risking it. I ain't about to order something that come out like that. I will you ever had the duck quesadillas from Lacaratas? Yes, I have. Okay, that's good. Okay. Just making sure. I was about to say I, if you have I it, can't I remember how this duck was prepared because I couldn't I had to get away from them. 
yeah, they, they probably did not prepare that right. I mean, I put some bullshit glaze on it. It was, I uh, dude, I, I've smelled some gamey stuff before. Like we've cooked, like we've killed wild boar. Honorable mention roast duck. And, uh, and cooked it and you can smell the testosterone that was f- flowing through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what this duck smelled like. And it was, I don't know how the people stayed in there. All right. <laughs> and my number four, I got rack of lamb. Love me a good lamb chop. Dude, you are getting, you are, you're way fancier than me, dude. I just love food. Fish and chips, but you're, lamb. You're, but you're forgetting, like I said, I'm like, I'm currently dieting, like air quotes dieting. Mm-hmm. And I can't eat none of this shit. Dude, I got the white trash menu over here. Let me guess, you got like macaroni and cheese with little cut up hot dogs in it? No, we're not quite, <laughs> not quite going to get there. Uh, Wait, so what was it rack of lamb? Rack, like lamb Where chop. are you even eating this at, dude? Rack of lamb over at uh, Keith Young's. Okay. There's like a little mint sauce on it. Just oh, slide that bitch up. white something. privilege over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, man, hey, privilege me up. If I can eat <laughs> this every fucking time I go out, then hey, give me my white privilege card, please. Because mm-hmm. that shit is delicious. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I'll have to try it. Like, if I ever win Mega Millions, I'm going to blow up like at least three quarters of that money on food alone. Fair. Just eating out. Just eating all this Gain good shit. Gain about 200 pounds. Fuck it. I'm going out. I'm going out. Exploding. Going out on top. Okay, I got you. Like, my my casket, you can see, like, the grease stains in it. <laughs> put I me in, put, like, cremate me. It'll start a grease fire. There we go. Yeah. That was your 5-4? That was my 5-4. So, my number five. Okay, my, my three, two, one. we get a little bit more basic. Okay. Well, my number five, I feel like you got to have it in your top three, but maybe not. It's super basic. It would be higher in the list, but... It's a, it's kind of risky a lot of times, even at a nice restaurant. I got steak. I got something similar, something I, very similar. I feel like on if it's going to be a perfect menu, you you have to have some steak option. I'd go ribeye. I know, like a good ribeye. Like 16 a, ounce, 18 ounce ribeye. I like a good filet. Uh, but again, you, you got to. I just like steak in right. all forms. Fair. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can go filet, whatever, you know, but uh, it has to be cooked right, though. Like, I put it in the five spot because, I mean, sure, a perfect menu overall should have steak, but... Not many restaurants can really cook a good They can't steak. nail it just right every time. Um, So, I got steak in the five spot. My number four spot. Um, This is America. This... this You're going to ma- put cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, baby! <laughs> all right. I mean, I love a good cheeseburger. If you're creating... All right. I mean, like I say... Like a supersonic double cheeseburger? Just a... Just Give a, it to me. Just a, a good... Fuck, I'm so third of a pound to half pound cheeseburger yep any 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 perfect menu should have cheeseburgers that's america's food but again i feel like it should be pizza because american nah. pizza and pizza from italy are two vastly different dishes my favorite pizza is from costa rica what the fuck best pizza i ever had dude that's neither here nor there, though. <laughs> I think uh, I got to go Little Caesars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, a perfect menu has to have a cheeseburger option. Okay. I, I mean, I'm not going to disagree with that. So that's my 5-4. Uh, my number three, I got a fried seafood platter. I mentioned that before. Okay. Just fried like, shrimp. Yeah, fried shrimp with the fried oysters and the, Oyster, and the catfish. Yeah. Dude. Fried, fried soft shell crab? Yes. That, too. Okay. Or some stuffed shrimp in it. Hush puppies. Love me. As long as there's, like, chunks of corn in it, like, Come on, have okay. some class. <laughs> have some class in your fried seafood platter. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like we went to uh, my my uh, little nephew had his first communion. We all went out to eat and I got like a fried seafood platter and like my little brother, he doesn't like, no, it was stuffed crab. I'm sorry, it was stuffed crab. He doesn't like crab. So he gave me his stuffed crab out of his. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm in paradise. Boy, when I tell you I was miserable that night going to bed, like, I did not want to move. Oh, so you ate, like, the whole seafood platter and his fr- stuffed crab? Yes. Oh, yeah. That'll get you. Dude, I That's was... That's about eight pounds on you right there. Dude, I guarantee I, I gained at least three to four pounds just off that one meal. That's, I just, I, I, like, That's tough. And me, my... my And my fantastical brain is like, you know what? I'm going to be a little healthy here. I'm not going to eat the fries on the side. <laughs> right. Of course. Yeah. That's where you, that's where you save your moderation. yeah, yeah. But oh, I, I made a happy plate when it came to the protein. Uh, <laughs> I hear you, dude. It was so fucking good. That's your three. That's my three. My number three. If if the place has it, I almost always get it. Even though, like, 
I'm, I try to, we've been over this, I try to control my portions. So, like, a lot of times I won't get an appetizer, and I pretty much never get desserts. Mm -hmm. But when I see this on the on the appetizer menu, if we're with a group of people and we're going to be there a while. Spinach artichoke. Spinach and artichoke dip. Getting it every time. Yeah, that's the only time I'll ever eat artichoke. Because it's so masked by, the, like, the cream, the cheese. I couldn't tell you what artichoke is. It's disgusting by itself. I just know that the, the spinach and artichoke dip with the, with the bow tie pasta, I could eat that until I die. You know, like I could literally eat myself to death on it. Oh, that's an artichoke. That shit looks gross. Whatever. I mean, who knows what that even? I can't. I can't look, dude. I saw. I saw this meme the other day though, and that just made me think of it. You can look at anything, and your tongue will know what it feels like. Mm. You ever thought that? No. Look at anything. You can look at it, and you can immediately picture your tongue going over it. And you know what it feels like. Anything. I'm like really thinking right now. Like I'm looking at everything. It takes a half second. Boom! I like, know. I know. I know what that. I know. I know what, what that texture, that painting feels like on my tongue. And you know, I have no desire to lick a painting. Exactly. But you can look at anything and just you just know what it would feel like if you licked it. Don't know why. Whenever I saw that, I was like, "This is that is wild." <laughs> I've never licked any of these things in here, but I I know exactly what it would feel. Hold like. on. I got, I got. I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm gonna see if you can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nah, dude. I know what you're looking up. Nah. All right. So my, what am I, what am I looking my up? number three spot is uh, <laughs> no. spinach and artichoke dip. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that's exactly where you're going with it. Yeah, I showed him a butthole. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty clean. I ain't going to lie to you. I mean, yeah. but <laughs> Props for Google. Like Google images. Google uh, human butthole. There's not like these are very presentable buttholes. Yeah, there you go, dude. Uh. So, yeah, spin dip in my three spot. You're two. I mean, get back to that. Oh, I forgot, dude. Uh, Dustin hit me up earlier. He was laughing about something. We'll talk about it off the air. All right. Uh, my number two. A lot of people would assume this would have been my number one. I got wings. Okay. I knew you had to have wings in there. Yep. Traditional I was gonna, or boneless. I don't care. Put wings on that menu. I was going to put boneless wings in mine just to mess with you, but I put tendies. Lately, I've been eating a lot of boneless wings. Yeah, it's quicker and easier, dude. No, it's because I drive and eat. Yeah, you ain't, eat, you ain't eating traditional wings and driving. Nah, you're not. Unless you that's get like trying slop to slop all over your steam. It's like trying to eat a McRib and drive. You just or can't like do eat it. spaghetti and drive. That's, I've done it before. That, that's psychotic. I've done it before. <laughs> that is psychotic. <laughs> or like eat a bowl of chili and drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maniac. <laughs> or like like Dennis off Always Sunny, eating a bowl of cereal and driving. <laughs> I've done that and getting mad whenever he gets rear-ended and milk goes everywhere. <laughs> in his yeah, that's some good shit. But yeah, man, wing, wings are just good. Okay, not many places. I've been eating traditional wings a decent amount recently, honestly. Good. I'm glad we're kind of trading off on this. I'm still all about all, but all if I'm about that sit, if boneless I'm, life. Like if I'm sitting at a restaurant, I'm getting traditional. Like Super King. Right now, I'm thinking about their chicken wings. Okay, love Super King seafood wings. That's your two? That's my number two wings. Okay. My number two, kind of a cheater pick, but it's no lies. I got potatoes. Dude, that's weak. Mashed French fries. Any you're going with very basic shit. So if you met, you put a menu together, this is what you're giving out to the masses. Dude, your restaurant's going to get shut down. No, 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 no. There's a very valid point that if your restaurant does not have French fries, you should be shut down. There's got to be a restaurant right here that doesn't serve French fries. Yeah, there is. And the place sucks. It's in Madisonville. It's the uh, Blind Tiger or whatever that thing is. Blind Tiger does have a... Uh, they don't have French fries. Yeah, they do. The one that... I go to Blind Tiger. You they... go across the bridge. It's on the right by the marina. Yeah, they got French fries. Well, they didn't when we went there. They probably And didn't. she acted offended as if we... F for us asking. Yeah, they got French fries. We go there all the time. Well, they didn't before. Well, they do And now. me and my friend to this day still trash that place because they didn't have French fries. You got to go back. Um, oh, actually, they shut both places down. As they should have. Like, Bon Tiger left Louisiana altogether. Um, but no, so your place, your restaurant has to have french fries, dude. It's like the number one, it's the number one side. It's the number one ordered thing across basically that, all restaurants. That's, Amer that's America's side right there is french fries. Yeah, so, I mean, if on a perfect menu, it must contain french fries. Because then then you can get your variation. You, do, you can you can do... Uh, nothing, but, nothing pisses me off more than... than Undercooked French fries, loaded fries. Right. Now I prefer steak fries. The ones that are like real crispy, flaky. I like it all. Right. 
well, that's why it's in my two spot. Your restaurant has to have French fries. I said potatoes because, I mean, I love mashed potatoes as well. I think mashed potatoes just fine. I like a baked potato. Baked potato. Eh. So um, it's a lot more work uh, to get to the same thing. You're going to end up with a mashed potato. That's that is a take right there. And I'm here for it. <laughs> it just <laughs> it's just more work to get to the mashed potatoes that are on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. That I never really thought of that until this very moment. That's a very good. Yeah, point. that's what it is. Dude. Uh, but anyway, so I, I, I put it as potatoes, specifically French fries. But again, I love mashed potatoes, dude. All right. My number one. Separately. These menu items are kind of mid, like just, eh, it's whatever. Like you said, one of them, you've had steak, but when it's paired with lobster, it is a great combination. I'm surf not, and turf? Surf and turf, my number one. Okay. So that's two of them, uh, you know, that, well, I guess that's lobster and steak. Yeah. I like, when it comes to surf and turf, I like lobster with my steak. For some reason, they just pair so fucking good together. Well, it's because lobster, for the most part, even though most people don't like to admit it, lobster's usually pretty bland. Not much you can do about it. Right. It doesn't soak the seasoning up like because it's such thick. You know, like crawfish soaks it up because it's a very a much smaller portion. Yes. But lobster, I mean, you just got to douse it in butter. That's where the steak comes in because right. steak usually has like that butter on it. It has like the steak juice. You get that lobster mm -hmm. and you put in that steak juice. That is very good. Delicious. Very, very good. I'm with you on that. Okay, I'm glad you were. I, I thought you were going to hate the lobster. Well, part. I mean, like... So, like, I'll never order lobster by itself ever in my life. Right. But, Too bland. But if I see lobster with the surf and turf, I will probably most likely get it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine. With, I mean, like I, like I said, like, steak it was in my five spot. It had to be top five because it's a top five item. But you got to nail it. So, I put mm -hmm. it in the five. I left it down because I'm not hating for steak being in the one, especially with some lobster with it. Right. My number one... Like I said, my list gets very elementary. I feel like this is one thing. It's a side or an appetizer. Um, but I can't think of anything you could put it on that I wouldn't like it. Cheese. Queso. Queso. That's in my honorable mention. I like queso. Uh, queso, very well. queso and chips, queso and on, fries. On, on loaded fries, queso. On, like I say, on literally anything. Like at a, most, like like La Coretta, it's going to come on about 80% of the menu. Comes with queso spread on it one way it's or another. Delicious. And it's delicious. I just love queso too. Specifically, queso, La nacho cheese, just any type of cheese sauce, I'm here for. Specifically, La Coretta's queso though. For some reason, theirs is way better. Like it's it, the consistency is right, dude. It's I can't not too I watery. Forgot about this on our soups list. Shit, like one time I was vacationing up cheese in soup, like no, a German <laughs> cheese, like a beer cheese, a German cheese beer soup. It was out of this world. Okay. It had like little tiny pieces of bacon in it, and it was cooked down with bacon grease. Ooh. Oh my God. Sounds like that's going to mess my stomach up in a hurry. That's why it came in a very small portion. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if it came in like a normal bowl, you're out of commission for that eating. Yeah. 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 But it was like a German bacon grease. Yeah. Cooked down with bacon grease, and then they do the beer in it, let it that bowl, and then they did like all the cheese in it, cheeses in it. Dude, okay. Oh, so creamy and thick. But God, it was so good. I don't know what it is like. Like pretty much every Mexican restaurant around here has queso, which I mean, queso is just cheese. Yeah. That's just what the meat word means. Yeah. But anyway, La Coretta's though, they got the consistency right. Like most other places, it's too watery. I think I'm more tacos and beer. My only beef with, I'm not going to say, it's not even a real beef. It's kind of like if you had to pinpoint one thing wrong with their queso, even though it's perfect, is that it, I think out of all the quesos I've ever had, I think La Coretta's gets hard the quickest. Okay, it does skin over. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, yeah. I like the skin, though. Yeah. That becomes a different snack in and of itself. It's like the pudding skins. It's kind of nature's way of telling you, hey, time to move on to your entree. Mm -mm. I, like, <laughs> like, There's a queso on the table. I'm knocking that out before I eat my entree. And I'll start eating my entree and start dipping whatever I got in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's yours. Right. Like, I don't, I'm not down with the party queso. Uh, but yeah, queso in my one spot, uh, just because, like I say, you can put it on. I can't even think of any food you would give me that I would be mad if you put queso on top of it. Yeah. Put on a salad. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What Dude. food item? Put it on spaghetti. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> well, there, there is a uh, spaghetti queso. It's called Alfredo. 
Well, that's a little different, but that's pretty much the same thing. What's the difference? I'm trying to think of any item that you could put queso on that I would l l like it less. Well, you know, there's some ass asshole out there. You would put it on ice cream. You know what? I probably would. <laughs> Give uh, me the right flavor ice cream. I bet it'll slap. But uh, but anyway, so that's why I put like, it, I queso put it on chicken tenders is a great meal. Like yeah. one time, I put queso on leftover canes, and oh. it was fantastic okay that so that was the most flavor that chicken has ever had that's what i'm saying dude it's always so good yeah that's a good pick so that's my one spot all right rundowns number 10 i got creme brulee number nine french onion soup eight crab cakes seven chicken sandwich six fish and chips five veal chops four rack of lamb three a fried seafood platter two wings and number one surf and turf has the surf has to be lobster though okay I mean, I love shrimp and steak, but I prefer the lobster because, like, because, like we said, that that lobster, it's good getting that steak butter and juices right. all up in it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, and I do like the bite of lobster. It's got yeah. a good bite to it. Yes, it's like a you don't expect it to be as tender as it is. You look at it, you're like, man, this, is gonna, this thing will probably be very spongy, and it's not. Yeah. Um, honorable mention scallops. Whatever, dude. You don't like scallops? I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't eat with rich people all the time. Dude. <laughs> Who's getting scallops? Uh, That's fair. <laughs> uh, my, my number ten spot. Go off guard. They got them. I think. <laughs> uh, my number ten spot. I got steamed veggies. You're making me feel very posh right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've been doing that all up. You know. <laughs> I kind of caught. Like I feel like a fucking white girl now. Well, all right. So y'all just heard Dan's list. Now listen to these ten. <laughs> all right. So my number ten. I got steamed veggies. <laughs> Nine, I got cheese sticks. Eight, chicken tenders. Seven, buffalo chicken wrap. Six, fried shrimp. Five, steak. Four, cheeseburger. Three, spinach and artichoke dip. Two, French fries or any form of potatoes. And number one, queso. I'm surprised you didn't put peanut butter and jelly on yeah, there. Hey, dude, peanut butter and jelly is good, dog. But, I mean, you don't order at a restaurant. You know what I've been having lately that I fucking love putting it in my shakes in the morning is PB2. What's PB2? It's peanut butter without the oil, and it's just, like, the ingredients are literally just ground peanuts, a little bit of sugar, and salt. Oh, so it's not a paste. It's, it's like a it's powder. A powder. Okay. And it, I can eat that shit about a spoonful. It'll take all the moisture out of your mouth, though, but it is delicious. Okay. Highly recommend it, putting that in your shakes in the morning if you drink shakes. I got to start drinking shakes in the morning. All I'll do is put some vanilla whey in there, some cold water, some PB2. Best breakfast I've okay. had in a long time. Um, but then again, like I said, I'm dining every fucking thing tastes good <laughs> because all the health food i've been eating is ass well i'm not eating ass but you know <laughs> sure <what> I mean. <laughs> dude you looked it up anyway so uh you, you think you know what that texture feels like back, when you're talking? dude i'm you can look at anything look i can but did you look at that butthole and did you know what that felt like on your tongue yeah anything <laughs> you still won't do it huh and you still won't do it anyway so come he back. did not say no thursday we're doing all right so we're doing um Dumb things that society does. And by that, we mean like things that society normalizes or accepts, you know, or like things we judge people for that we shouldn't like kind of just dumb things people do. Look, I'm going to call it like it is. Things people do that piss me off. Fair. That's what, that's exactly how I, like, I made that list. Like I was sitting there making this list. I was pissing myself off and just getting fired up. Mine's like dumb things that I do. Like, why do I even care? You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, Yes yes that's stuff like that yes right and uh, stuff people do that oh dude i like i go into some groups oh we're gonna we're gonna get real soapboxy like you all look like ants from my ivory tower <laughs> like i'm I, i'm looking down on all you like we god we need like a gavel in here like soon as we make that pick we, we just, do we, yeah we need it yeah like just pass judgment or when one of us catches the other one like you're going way off all right uh, order order <laughs> order in the court we should get those because we got like these little big chunky wooden coasters here yeah boom you have like a hammer or something i know you got a i got a hammer all right go get that bitch. uh anyway all right so till then peace, peace.